Hi Witchlings, welcome back to my channel. It is me, your local chaotic witch on. video. I started a series where I talked about or my experience with different deities and working with them like three or so months ago right before I moved to Colorado. I'm now in Colorado. And I haven't updated this series and I feel like it's something that a lot of people have wanted or at least a lot of people have asked for. And yeah, today I'm going to be talking about working with Apollo and Artemis. I've decided to do them together because that helps my brain keep it straight. <laughs> and also they're twins, so they have a lot of things in common. You know? I did have like kind of a structure to my FOIA video, so I'm going to uphold that structure. A little bit of an intro to Apollo and Artemis. Greek, Greek deities, Hellenic pantheon. Apollo and Artemis are twins. We're given birth to by Leto. Yeah, Leto. And Apollo, uh, Artemis was born first and helped Apollo give birth, or helped Leto give birth to Apollo. So she was fresh out of the womb and was like, let me help my mother give birth to a child. Some badass energy. Apollo came in first, but they were kind of around the same time for me. But anyways, there are a lot of mythos about them. Apollo is a god of lots of things. Healing, music, the sun, and Artemis, goddess of the moon, hunting, women, protector of women. Uh, for note purposes, I do not consider Artemis and Diana to be the same goddess. I can elaborate on that in another video if you're interested. Um, but I believe it was right around when the pandemic started. So 2020, February or March of 2020 is when Apollo said, hey, and I was like, oh, hey, and then Artemis was like, hey, and I'm like, oh, hi. I worked with them for probably three to six months, I believe. Artemis and Apollo helped me with a couple things. They helped me with, I'm trying to remember, this is such a long time ago, my brain is so bad. They helped, Apollo helped me with self-care, taking care of myself, spending time outside, and Artemis helped me with boundaries, independence, sovereignty. Um, I've had many deities come in to help me with my sovereignty and my independence uh, throughout history. Artemis being one, Freya, and Morgan, Diana, they've all just, it's kind of like gone up in intensity. <laughs> but Artemis was first, uh, Freya was already around during this period. And if I remember, I can kind of match their energies to what it felt like compared to other deities. And the other deities' energies, Artemis and Apollo felt younger, a younger energy. And that isn't necessarily because they're not divine old gods. It's because throughout mythology, Artemis in at least the Hellenic pantheon was portrayed a lot as kind of a girl. Apollo, I believe, had some similarities to that. There was like a whole conversation that I had with one of my mutuals on TikTok on how we felt the difference between Diana and Artemis as Diana often is pictured as older. She's often pictured as a woman, sometimes Italian, she has more Italian features, and Artemis is usually pictured young girl, which isn't bad. So some background, Artemis took a vow of chastity. There are lots of discussions and lots of, you know, looking into her myths that have allowed people to see their sexuality such as being gay, being asexual, etc. in Artemis. So she is like a champion. People love her. Apollo is very similar. Apollo took many lovers, both male, female, all of his lovers, you know, not all of them, but like when we think of like Daphne and Hyacinth. And it, Daphne wasn't even a lover of his. Someone he ch chased around until she turned to a tree. Yeah. <laughs> and Artemis were one of the, it was almost like a different learning curve for me when it came to deity work because Artemis and Apollo were Hellenic deities and I had not had any experience with Hellenic deities. I had stayed with like Kernanos and Freya, so Norse and Gaelic slash Celtic. I had not at all looked into Hellenic pantheons, and I was familiar with Greek mythology, like very familiar, but I had usually just not worked with them. 
Um, that wasn't by any choice of mine, that was just kind of how it happened. <laughs> they were really great. I remember a lot of that period was documented well on TikTok. My experiences with them, these other things, Artemis mainly, I believe, came in for me to help me get over an ex-boyfriend who was a piece of shit. Hey buddy, I don't know if he watches these actually. Be bold to set foot here again. <laughs> Apollo was almost the yin to the yang of Artemis. Well, Artemis is kind of hardcore like shadow work, shadow work, shadow work. Apollo was, hey, remember to drink water. Remember to take a nap. So it, for me, they worked as a dual pair, which isn't always the case. However, I do know that when you're working with one of them, they do enjoy having a space on the altar for their twin. That is not necessarily everyone's experience. That was just my experience and the experience of others. I originally set up, I believe, an altar for Artemis, like as a here, have an altar for your sister, for Apollo. And then she was like, oh, hi. And I'm like, oh, hi buddy. It was an interesting experience in my, well, at least, so with Hellenic deities, and this isn't with anyone, when you work with them, I personally noticed that there are a few great ways to work, like to devote with that, devote time to them. One of which is always reading the mythos. Um, I noticed that they very much like physical offerings. I always believed that this was because they had temples, like set up temples that often would receive offerings, incense, prayers pretty frequently. Or if they had a cult, that would be, you know, an example of that. So I always noticed that they really liked physical offerings. So Apollo would get coffee, Artemis would get deer remains, um, and their altars had more items than the other deities I worked with. Kronanos at the time was always kind of like, Ah, you can give me some moss. Give me a stick. And I'm like, okay. And Floya was not, she didn't like, not like offerings, but she always went for the more expensive ones. And at the time when Artemis and Apollo were around, I didn't have a lot of money to spend on really inexpensive offerings for Freya. So most of her offerings came later in me working with her. Before she left, I got her a really nice piece of amber. I got her a pearl. Like all these really gorgeous things were on her altar. Like she had a black and gold tarot deck. But Artemis and Apollo, because their time with me was a little shorter, they tended, it, it was very much based around what I was experiencing at the time. Like it was very clear that they came in for path work and to help me through things and then they left. But the experience was really great and working with them was really great. Apollo definitely has the energy, at least in my experience of like, hey bud, get up, get up, play some music. We're gonna dance, we're gonna have a good time. And Artemis was very much like the person in the corner who's like, you can't dance. And that's just an example of like me trying to explain my experience working with them. I would say that because I didn't work with them for like long term, like I did with Freya or Kananos, the experiences I had with them weren't as ingrained in my memory. I know that they came in to help me with getting over a relationship, getting over like helping myself take care of myself better. But in the long run, it was di it's difficult for me to 100% be like, yes, this is what it's like, this is what it is. And I'm sure I wrote down everything. Apollo I was very serious about worshiping and working with. I want coffee. Meow. Flannel is for my boyfriend. It's very comfy. Well, I forgot this was metal, it's hot. Ah! Delicious, I'm gonna set this down. At the time, my worship and working with deities, you know, was broadcasted on the internet. And because of that, I definitely think, you know, experiences that I had may have been influenced by other people. And I say that because I am someone who was very easy to influence <laughs> for a while, at least in my spiritual practice, especially by close friends. So, and a lot of times it was for the better, you know, like people saying like, oh, hey, like this is something that this person likes, you may want to incorporate that. I say, okay, that's really great, thank you. When I first started on the internet though, I didn't necessarily only take advice from people who trusted, who I trusted and are my friends, because that's what it's like being on the internet. But with Artemis and Paul, you know, I had friends like when people said Freud was a patron of mine, I said, okay, 
didn't think about it. <laughs> I'm just like, alright, I trust this person makes sense. Um, Artemis Apollo, I think I believed Apollo was a patron because I was pulling cards to ask who my patron gods were. And I said, who is my patron god? And I got cards like the Empress, cards with cats, and I got cards with the sun, so I was thinking Apollo. I got a card that represented the horned god, Kronanos. So in reality, my patrons are Diana and Lucifotus. Um, so I was not very off with Apollo and Floya. Diana does have some symbolism around cats, and Lucifotus is like a radiant horned god of the sun. So I, w I just got the wrong names. <laughs> But anyways, working with them is an experience and I know a lot of people work with them. I think because the Hellenic Pantheon is more known and that's okay. I think a lot of people give other people shit for working with the Hellenic Pantheon. Not necessarily, but like sometimes I'm like, everyone works with the Hellenic Pantheon because of Percy Jackson and I'm like, well, it's also one of the most well-documented pantheons and histories that we have. So there's that. <laughs> I'm sure that someone was influenced by Percy Jackson and someone is very disrespectful to their Greek gods. I'm sure that exists because that exists everywhere. But that doesn't mean that, you know, everyone who worked with the Hellenic practitioners or Hellenic gods is a piece of shit. Anyways, um, working with them was great. The whole sun and moon thing, I re tried really hard to incorporate the moon cycles. I'm still trying with Lady Diana. We're working on it, all right? Working with them, like I said, is they liked physical offerings that may or may not be because of the ancient Greek temples. Um, I did kind of consider getting in statues. I didn't have any statues for anyone at the time. I just had candles for people. So I went and I'm like, here's the candle. I did a lot of shadow work during that period. It was a very rough time for me personally because I was just brutally, brutally being like thrown in every direction shadow work wise. Like I was with a new therapist, he was doing great, but it was a lot of work on myself. And they were there partially for that, but also partially for support. And while I didn't have as much of a connection to them as I did with Freya, they were still a really key part in my growth in my spiritual practice and my growth as a witch, which I think is really important to note. Yeah, and I'm sorry that I can't give like more concise information. I did forget a lot of it because it was so long ago. It's probably almost two years ago now that I worked with these two, but I do remember it being like a good experience. And I know there are other and people on the internet who work with them more intensely, but it was definitely for one specific path working purpose and they were the first deities that came in for me for path working and helped me understand what path working was. Freya also was technically there for path working, I just wasn't aware of it till a year later. <laughs> if you have interest in working with them, I'm gonna start you off in the way I start everyone off. Be familiar with their myths, you know? There are so many Greek myths. We have so many well-documented Greek myths. That is a treasure trove of information for you. If you're seeing this and you're like, you know what, I really like what Apollo and Artemis did in Frankie's life, maybe they can help me with that, I wanna worship them, that's great. I'm glad I could help you find that. And also, setting up an altar for them is pretty easy and was simple because they didn't demand a bunch of offerings right away, it was more like a slow accumulation. Like Artemis's candle at the start was like a chime, a blue chime candle on a lid. Anyways, interest in a deity to me always indicates, you know, a direction to go in. And that direction to go in is like research, exploration, is the Hellenic Pantheon right for you or these deities that could help you. A lot of times, you know, for me with Hades, I started worshiping him because he could help me with something. And because he could help me with something, then it's just been a continuous like transactional back and forth relationship and worship. I give him offerings, he says, I protect your boyfriend. I say, thank you, thank you, Hades. And I did work with them, but I did start by kind of worshiping Artemis. Both of them departed from my life at the right time. It was time that I had grown and they were leaving and other deities were coming in like quick fire. This was a period where I was switching out a lot. But yeah, I would love to make a, com a video on Artemis versus, Artemis versus Diana and maybe even Lucifortis versus Apollo or information on Lucifortis or at least my experience with him because I think that'd be really interesting. I think that Artemis and Apollo were amazing deities to work with. They just didn't stick around me for a while and that's okay. 
but as I'm thinking about it I can remember their energy and remember what they taught me and a lot of it was things to help me, very me focused. And of course deities come in to different people's lives for all different reasons. So if you have worked with Artemis or Apollo and you had a very specific experience with them, I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear about it. Please let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, let me know. I know it doesn't have as much information as my Freya video, but I also didn't spend a lot of time with Artemis and Apollo. If you guys are interested, you wanna leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell me about your experiences with deities, tell me what you're looking forward to content-wise in these videos. Let me know in the comments below. If you watched to the end of the video, you already know how I feel about you. Remember to drink water, take care of yourself, and have a good rest of your day. Oh! Sabanetica. <laughs>